my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown? the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. It's my great pleasure to welcome you all, my dear parishioners and friends of our community, to finally to worship God in our beautiful church. This is the second week we are open for public celebration of the Holy Eucharist and different sacraments in the churches. So I also welcome all those who gather around the TVs or different electronic devices and watching televised mass and those equipments. We are praying in a special way, thanking God that the churches are, being, churches are open uh, for all the people who are affected by the COVID-19, sick people to regain their good health quickly, and for those who have died through the complications of coronavirus, to merciful God to receive them into the kingdom of his light. During this Mass, we will be praying for the living and deceased fathers for whom this Mass is being offered, asking God to protect, to bless our dear fathers, living fathers and to have mercy upon those who are already gone from our midst. Let us also add our own personal intentions. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare our hearts and ourselves to celebrate these holy and sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. My dear friends, before we start the reading, I just, please sit down. Uh, I just want you to know that because I fully realize how difficult it must be for you to wear the masks, so our celebration will be cut as short as possible. We will avoid a lot of parts of the Mass to be sung, 
will be simply reciting those parts and also the music will be cut into necessary length of the music so we will not prolong the time of you spending and breathing through those masks. So for your benefit, we'll do that. And please make sure that everybody has the mask and when you come to receive Holy Communion, as you remi was reminded to you in the beginning of the mass, please extend the hand. We cannot give the Holy Communion upon your tongue. God bless you. Thank you. A reading from the second book of Kings. On the one, one day, Elijah came to Shunem, where there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterward, whenever he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elijah is a holy man of God, since he visits us, us often. Let us arrange a little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp, so that when he comes to us, he could stay there. Sometime later, Elijah arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Elijah asked, can something be done for her? His servant, Gehazi, answered, yes, she has no son, and her husband is getting on in years. Elijah said, call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Elijah promised this time next year you'll be fondling a baby son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsible psalm would be, Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Though through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the joyful shout in the light of our, your countenance, O Lord. They walk at your name, they rejoice all day. And through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. You are the splendor of their strength, and by your favor our horn is exalted. For the Lord belongs to our shield, and to the Holy One of Israel, our King. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you aware that you, we who are baptized into Christ were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in the newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ raised the dead, dies no more, death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. 
and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man uh, will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because the little one is a disciple Amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, in an age when people are growing farther apart, there is a greater need for friendliness and kindness than ever before. And the traditional values of hospitality is once more being rediscovered. Far from being an optional extra, hospitality is regarded as a sacred duty and the way of welcoming the Lord Jesus Christ himself. The Gospel reminds us that all small ways of giving and caring which we avail of, even a trivial act of kindness like the giving of a cup of cold water to a stranger at our doorstep, will win God's favor for us and result in a great blessing. The word we live in is crying out for kindness which costs little but are sadly missing like a beautiful smile on your face like a simple call a word of appreciation in extending a welcome to people other people we are following in the footsteps of our heavenly master, Jesus Christ, who has room for everyone in his loving heart. Inviting Jesus into our lives and putting him first in our preference is a demanding task as it involves a reshaping of our personal attitudes. It may mean coming to grips with years of inbuilt selfishness, which goes against the grain. Jesus Christ comes to our doors in many disguises and is not always recognizable. If we have not cracked open the hard shell of indifference to others, we run the very high risk of letting slip so many perfect opportunities for us for our soul making. Hospitality means showing a generosity of disposition and a living willingness to interrupt our personal lives in order to perform some unrecorded acts of kindness and what that counts is kindness because it is not what is given that really counts in God's eyes but it is a heart with which it is given. The least we can do for our master for Jesus Christ who has accepted us in all our sinfulness is to receive one another with love, kindness, and with an open arms. In this way, we respond to his compelling call for discipleship and allow his word to take hold of us and through that change 
our souls, change our hearts for better. God bless you. Now, my brothers and sisters, let us profess our faith. Please, of, uh, please participate fully. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, arose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident in the abundance of Father's love for us, we bring our prayers and petitions before his throne. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For church leaders, may God look graciously upon them as they continue to strengthen and give courage to those entrusted to their pastoral care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all civil leaders, may the God of peace and justice inform their efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are alienated from God and his church, may Christ's message of love and healing penetrate their hearts and reconcile them to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here, may God restore in us whatever is necessary for fullness of life and health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For scientists, health professionals, public officials, and all who are serving the common good in this difficult and uncertain time, that they will be filled with wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For parishioners and friends who faithfully support our church, may they be abundantly blessed and protected. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For living and deceased fathers for whom this Mass is being offered, we remember the founders, builders, benefactors of our parish, and all the souls in purgatory. May God in his mercy and love grant them eternal rest and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please add your private intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, rejoice in your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the gifts of your Holy Spirit. Hear the prayers we offer this day through you, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is the Lord forever and ever. Could somebody please kindly pick up the collection. Thank you.
Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living hearts. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts. Shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in your church. Gather to the Thank you, gentlemen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that by the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, while and while in the body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with the angels and saints we praise you in a joyful celebration as we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, especially Saint Hedwig, our patron saint, Saint Sister Faustina Kowalska, Saint John Paul II, all our patron saints, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity, and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And now let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
to say the prayer we're going to learn the Latin version, Salve Regina. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, vita dulce dos espes nostre salve. A te clamamus exules fili heve, et te suspiramus gementes et flentes i hac lacrimarum vale. E ergo advocata nostra, ilos tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte, et Iesum benedictum fructum ventris, Tu in nobis post hoc exilium ostende, o clemens o pia, o dulcis virgo Maria. Don't be shy, please. You have the text on the screen. Try to join me in prayers. And my dear friends, I notice, I know the mask, you know, a kind of obstacle on you know, projecting the voice, but knowing that, try to push on the voice so we can hear, I can hear, because I only hear, you know, mumbling from the pews, and uh, there is no full participation as far as I am concerned. Please try your better, you know, effort, you know, to do in better ways so I can hear you loud and clear. I thank you so very much for being together and for praying finally after such a long, long while. And I have one request, uh, and do me a favor, please. A lot of people still do not know, they are not aware that the church is being opened. So spread the good news, proclaim the good news that to your friends, to your family members, to your neighbors, to our parishioner fellows, that we are again opened. This second week, we are able to gather as a community, as a family of St. Hedwig's Church. So hopefully next weekend, we we'll see much more of you joining us in that beautiful celebration of the Holy Eucharist. And we have a chance to thank the Lord, to ask him for extra help, and to pray for end of that COVID and other disasters which strike us from left and right. It is a very difficult time for us to live in. It's very challenging. And if we obey the laws and all the restrictions, I am sure you know soon that epidemic, pandemic, situation will be all under cover and we will be able to live our lives to the fullness as used to be before we are stroken by that stupid, you know, coronavirus thing. Okay, I wish you a beautiful uh, day and the week ahead of you. And now let us also seek the protection of St. Michael the Archangel and let us offer ourselves, our loved ones and the entire world under his care and protection. Let us together say a prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. And I am wondering if I can hear you much better, you know, at this time. St. Michael the Archangel, 
Beautiful. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Halls, by the power of God, thrust into her Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Of the angels and archangels, uh, Saint Hedwig, Saint John Paul II, Saint Sister Faustina Kowalska, Saint Rita, all our patron saints, of the angels and saints of the Lord, you won't fool me that you cannot respond. That you just did it beautifully. Thank you. Please keep up that you know nice high gear voice. Uh, whatever. God bless you. And now let us receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you and protect you. God the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace. Thank you, and God bless you once again. Blessed are they, the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are they, full of sorrow, they shall be consoled. Rejoice and be glad, blessed are you, holy are you. Rejoice and be glad, yours is the kingdom of Yours is the kingdom of God.